Good morning and welcome to our daily devotions. Today, Tuesday, March 2nd, we're glad that you are with us today. We are coming from St. Peter Lutheran Church in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. I'm Pastor Sharon Taylor, welcome to you. We continue with our Lenten devotions written by Luther Seminary. And you can access the entire devotions, if you like, on the website of Luther Seminary, and you can download that for free. We begin today with Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declare knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard, yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the ends of the earth. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the ends of the heavens, and its circuit to the ends of them, and nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from my hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression." Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. God's wisdom surrounds us from the skies above to the earth beneath our feet. As day and night turn into each other, the very passing of time conveys truth without words or voice. Nothing can hide from the shining and heat of the sun. Resonating with this wisdom in creation, God's law and commandments explicitly teach us how to dwell in the sanity God would have for us. Enlightening us, they call us to return to our true selves, sweeter than honey and more to be desired than gold. And they transform our childish reactions into judicious responses. Their wholesome lucidity grounds our lives in what remains for eternity. As we meditate on God's wisdom in creation and law, we find ourselves grounded in truth. We can acknowledge the shame we would rather hide, and we can stand up to those who would dominate us and keep us from clarity. Let us pray. Permeate our lives with your wisdom, O God. Grant us in the clarity of your truth and just ways. Amen. And now we share with you a blessing for your day. May God, who cares passionately for the earth and all that lives in it, bless you with the same caring compassion and preserve us from greed and violence, now and always. Amen. Amen.